Hotspot Shield service makes your internet browsing safer, more secure, and fully private. Click now to learn more. So we're here with Ken Price from Samsung Canada, who's going to be showing us the Galaxy Note 3, which is their latest and greatest. Tell us what you guys have done to improve this over the, well, legendary at this point, Galaxy Note 2. Sure. I think what people will find, it's slightly narrower, slightly longer, has a, a larger screen size. We've been more efficient in terms of the use of the bezel. All of the hardware's updated, processor, 3 gigabytes of on onboard memory, 32 gigabytes of storage, that's standard. And it's also, though, in, in many ways familiar for Samsung folks, a, you know, a product that we've put a lot of thought into the, into the design otherwise you're still able to get inside of the device, even though it has this nice sort of luxurious feeling kind of leather background or leather feeling background, but in fact, it's still the same flexible light casing that we've always had, NFC supported through the battery, 3200 milliamp battery, able to add external storage, 13 megapixel camera, and for those that have been following along, this is a device that borrows a lot from the Galaxy S4 in terms of its functionality, but in, it's also able to take high-end video more so than any other device from Samsung. Now you've covered spec a little bit here, so it does 4K video and also 1080p video up to 60 FPS, which That's is right. pretty awesome, but yeah. tell us uh, what else, what do you mean by latest and greatest hardware inside? Sure. Um, so I think that, well, I think actually the other uh, functionality that I wanted to cover is more related to the stylus itself, where we're kind of bringing forward the use of the pen. Because the, what is signature about the Note more than any other device in the family is the fact that we have this option for, for folks who want to use a pen as part of a natural uh, functionality, if it'll just come out of here, just like I rehearsed it, right? <laughs> so the first thing you'll notice is that there's an air command feature. So this is using that hovering technology that we first saw on the, Gal on the Note 2, actually, and then also extended on the Galaxy S4. And you'll see that, in fact, I'm able to call up certain commands just by hovering the screen. And then I use the, the button that's on the pen itself to fire up some of those commands. Things as simple as being able to take an action memo, so I, I'm able to take a quick note, or I can create a new window inside of the uh, inside of the device. And also, it's able to sort of navigate now without having to put the pen down, and that's the biggest advantage of the so Note 3. Show us that window, uh, that window feature. Sure. So, for example, if I if I invoke this pen window functionality, you see that I just click that quickly, then I draw a square and then I'm able to run certain utilities or programs inside of that window. So let's say I wanted to do, so this is sort of replicating, you know, I'm taking notes or I'm doing something else on the phone, geez, I need to make a quick calculation, how can I sort of call that up? Or I want to see a quick video or do some other functionality and being able to take advantage of this sort of advanced hardware um, without, without having to disturb what I was doing otherwise. So obviously one of the big stories with the Note 3, given that it's launching at the same time, is integration with the Galaxy Gear smartwatch. So tell me how these two are, are a match made in heaven in your eyes. Sure. Well, I think that there are, as powerful as smartphones are, and there are still some transactions that you might have that are, are more immediately served by something that's more intimate to you. So for example, being able to take a quick picture or get a notification that I'm responding to, rather than seeing that on the device, I can have that that in a place that's actually closer to me. And there's a piece of software that actually is tightly coupled to the use of the, of the device itself, which is called the Gear Manager, which is how you would actually use the two devices together. So what would you expect to do using the Gear versus actually pulling your massive phone out of your pocket? <laughs> um, sure. Well, uh, you know, a couple of examples might be taking a quick picture because it still takes some time to, you know, be able to take the, the camera out and set it up and so on. And if you wanted a high-end picture, that's great. If you wanted a quick snapshot to take a video memo almost, that it might be better served with something that's more closely in hand. Or get notifications that are, are sent to me while the device is, let's say, docked or in my pocket or something sure. like that without actually having to respond. Or even take a call which I could do without actually having to ironically take out the smartphone and use it. I could actually just take that call right from the, actually the Galaxy Gear. So convergence is dead then, and it's, it's we're, we're, now, we're now taking the phone functionality out of the phone and putting all the other functionality into the phone. Well, I think we've recognized that mobile communications is now the hub of what this is doing, and that's a much more powerful idea than just emailing and phoning. There's a number of things that people are gonna do in terms of running applications. So then the question is, is that, 
you know, how can we improve the convenience of how a mobile communication device works? And we think that having something close at hand and on your wrist is going to be part of that answer. Awesome. Thanks very much, Ken. And without further ado, I'd like for uh, the viewers to direct their attention to some nice glamour footage of the Galaxy Note 3, which if you're into big phones, is very likely to be your next tablet. <laughs>